Award category is the Unsung Hero for 2017, sponsored by St. Lawrence Holiday Park. Now, present the award, please give a big round of applause to their Operations Director, Karen Deuce. Now, the Unsung Hero Award recognises exceptional care in the community by those people who make a real difference when putting the physical needs of others before themselves. Well, the first highly commended at SL Caravan's Unsung Heroes is Ruth Booth from Basildon. Ruth has been ever-present at St Luke's Hospice since it began. Nowadays, she's a trustee and volunteer receptionist. Her links to the hospice are well known. It's not unusual to see her heading off to a St Luke charity shop, arms laden with donated goods from friends and neighbours, some of which are simply left on her doorstep. Her mantra is, St Luke's is my life. In 1990, she completed a form to indicate how she could help. She identified a wide range of tasks, but added a note on the bottom. Always call me in an emergency for anything. Ladies and gentlemen, the first highly commended SL Caravan's unsung hero is Ruth Booth. radio project, Gateway 978, a section run by volunteers. Gateway won the Prime Minister's Big Society Award in 2012 and the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service in 2013. And Danny is a driving force, helping young people to overcome barriers, using radio as a tool to inspire. <coughs> He's patron of a media centre, having set up the radio hub to help other radio stations in community work and to network together. Now, apart from radio, Danny is a patron of the excellent La Danse Fantastique, one of our former winners, by the way, and is also proud of Maro Karate Kai, both of which are mindful in providing young people with directions and objectives. The Pride of Ethics Awards highly commend unsung hero, Danny Lawrence. unsung hero Susan Wilsden is from Stanford La Hope. Now Susan has devoted most of her life to being an unsung hero. In fact, she's been a Duke of Edinburgh leader for over 40 years, has helped at numerous sports clubs and has uh, run weekly summer camps for children. In addition, she's a first responder whose prompt close attention has saved lives. Her nominator granddaughter Abby says, for all the unpaid volunteer work that she has done over such a long period, she deserves to hear someone say, thank you for everything that she has done. And we're happy to do just that. The Pride of Essex Awards highly commend SL Caravan's unsung hero, Susan Wilson. <laughs> He's had a rough ride. He's been battling drug abuse, 
alcohol and mental health issues for many years. But six years ago, after the death of his father, father, Paul was in a real bad way. He left Suffolk and moved to South End. And with the support of the Richmond Fellowship and Social Services, Paul has turned his life around. He's given up drugs and alcohol, no longer smokes. He works one day a week at a charity shop. He's on a computer course, he runs a fishing group, and is in charge of a walking group. And he's also engaged in keep fit, swimming, and Zumba classes. He now runs a peer group for other mental health sufferers. His nominator says, I can't emphasize enough just how ill he was. His turnaround is nothing short of a miracle. Due partly to the wonderful help and support he received, but mainly his own strength of character. We and all his extended family are so very proud of him, and so are we. The Pride of Essex Awards, highly commend unsung hero, Paul Mills. The award of SL Caravan's Unsung Hero 2017 goes to Carolan Jackson from Colchester, who for 20 years has worked tirelessly to support people with Asperger's Syndrome and their families. In 1997, the year her daughter Nita was diagnosed, Carolan set up the support group SAFE to support Asperger's families in Essex. In 1998, SAFE became a registered charity. Carol Ann was to be its chair for the next 12 years, stepping down in 2010 due to her husband's ill health. She continued her involvement as president and through voluntary activities. When Nita left school, Carol Ann realized that like other adults with Asperger's, she faced enormous difficulties with employment, housing, and meaningful relationships. Well, Carol Ann created a new branch within SAFE called Asperger's Syndrome Adults and Parents, ASAP, and has provided a lifeline for those seeking help. Carol Ann continues to volunteer her time and sits on the Essex County Council Autism Advisory Board. She has been and continues to work courageously on behalf of others, a true unsung hero. Now, unfortunately, Carol Ann isn't able to be here tonight. She's in hospital with a broken hip, so, we wish you all the very best, but please welcome to pick up award on her behalf, SAFE member, Fern Potter, and give her a rousing round of applause. Quite a message, Sunshine Hero for 2017, Caroline Jackson. 